Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. We got another Fusion Marathon today by Eric um, Graybeard, Music Man. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it. And I'm super happy because today I was fortunate enough to do a um, similar marathon uh, by BMAC. Not exactly the same, but also Jazz Fusion and also some members of um, the um, Mahavishnu Orchestra. So this is going to be cool because it's more, you know, more goodness <laughs> for me, you know, more. Um, I love this uh, kind of music, so um, we're going to have a great time. So we're going to start it off um, with, uh, and also that's what Eric was saying, like we haven't done jazz in, in a while, and that's super, super true. So I think both of you guys kind of like were thinking alike, you know, when you chose these. So we're going to start it off with Jerry Goodman and Jan Hammer. And this is going to be co country and Eastern music. This is from the album uh, Like Children from 74. Then another member, uh, ex-member from Mahavishnu Orchestra, Billy Cobham. This is going to be Life and Times from the same album um, with the same name, 1976. And then this is something I've never heard before. Jeff Lorber Fusion, or maybe, you know, let me know if I have. Proteus is the track. This is the album Soft Space from 77. And then I think I've, we've done some Spyro Gyra uh, or Jira. Spyro, I think it's Jira. Um, uh, Incognito from the album Incognito, 1982. So thank you so much, Eric, for this awesome um, request and uh, sponsoring the, the video. And I'll add one more at the end because what I added at the end of um, BMAX was some Gianluca Ponti that he requested, and I didn't know there were two Alan Holtzworth tracks on the same album called one was Nostalgia, the one that I did for BMAC, and the one that I'm going to do for you is In Spite of All, and this is where Alan Holtzworth takes a solo, and then also we're pretty much getting um, some Warner Brothers into the marathon, okay, so I'm, I was going to do that anyways, and I didn't know that I'm, I don't think all of Gianluca Ponti's stuff is Warner Brothers, but it's Atlantic, so that's under the Warner Brothers brand, you know. All right, guys, so um, if you like the video, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you're a Jazz Fusion fan, welcome, of course. You find a, you're going to find a lot of Jazz Fusion stuff here. And if you just like music, you know, just enjoy. If you're discovering these bands like I do or these... Um, particular songs because i do know the artists and then uh, i wish you obviously a lot of fun L leave a comment below you know like the video dislike the video you know just whatever you feel like so let's start it off here for eric with um some uh yawn hammer and this is country and eastern music and also with of course the great violin violin uh work by jerry goodman so here we go from Like Children, here we go.
So, um, uh, yeah, I just, like I said in the other marathon, like, I just love, like, Jan, the way he, when he plays the keyboard, that little, I don't know, it's like a little, uh, I have it right here. It's like a wing, 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 wing. You, because the keyboard, I mean, they're set, the notes, but with that little thing, you can kind of like, wing, 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 you know, bend them or like change the pitch. And it's such a, and it's crazy how like Jerry Goodman, you know, keeps up with that style because he's, I guess, like sliding on the violin to also do that effect, you know. So Like Children is an album by Jan Hammer and Jerry Goodman. It was released in 1974, Nemperer Records. Both musicians were members of the Mahavishnu Orchestra. And it's so cool because both um, uh, players, they do everything on this album. John uh, does the vocals, keyboards, piano, um, lead and bass, drums and percussion. I mean, that's insane. And then Jerry Goodman, Goodman does vocals. Rhythm and lead, acoustic guitars, violin, electric, acoustic, mandolin, and viola. So both everything you heard was done by two people. So that's pretty impressive, you know. Um, uh, yeah, definitely a winner. Really great track. So, um, give me just one second here. It looks like, uh, I might have lost. That's kind of weird. oh no, it's back. I think the Wi-Fi just went away for a second because everything was just grayed out. But I think we can keep going. Um, so next track um, is um, by Billy Cobham, the uh, drummer, the the ex. Well, he was the drummer of Mahavishnu Orchestra. Live in Times, uh, the album with the same name, seventy six. Let's give it up for him. Let's go. <laughs> All right. It happens. Let's restart. Um Spotify. It happens more and more, you know. It's like and I'm not even running anything like on this computer, you know, it just sometimes it just happens. So here we go again. A little bit another try. And live in times. Here we go. Let's look up the album.
so I was fooled. I thought it was, you know, again, Jan Hammer, and um, it's not, you know. Uh, this is also recorded by Atlantic uh, Records, really cool. But the guitar player is John Schofield, and uh, keyboards um, is uh, Da Willie Conga, and um, let's see. Um, I mean, of course, the drums are Billy, and even like the whole composition, and the bass is Doug Rauch. Um, so cool. Like I've never really, I've heard some Billy Cobham, of course, on the channel. Only him as well. But um, I mean, he. The, if you go on the Wikipedia uh, of Billy Cobham, there's so much. There's so many albums. Even last year. You know, he released something and just like he has worked with everyone, you know. So but just as a solo, as leader, there is like. I don't know, 40 albums and then with other people, another, I don't know, 50 or 60 or 70. So the guy, he is busy, you know, he's constantly busy. So but yeah, great stuff. Great fusion. I love the. The Mahavishnu kind of like influence, injection, you know. Kind of funny, it says country, Germany. I guess the release was there, or I don't know, but it was recorded in New York. So, uh, let's, let's go back. <laughs> And uh, I'm sure also, yeah, uh, Greybeard is also a drummer. So I'm sure, like, when he listens to this, this is, like, you know, the stuff that he was playing at the time and or, you know, grew grew up with, you know. I am I mean, in, in 74, um, when everybody was playing this stuff, that's the cool thing about being a drummer, that you get into the stuff, you know. And so cool. What a great... um lineup and such good ideas that bass solo with the drum like all they both were kind of like soloing you know so cool okay so this next one like i really don't know um 
the name Jeff Lorber Fusion. I've uh, I'm super excited. You know, Soft Space is the album from '77. I'm pretty sure I've not heard them, but oh, oh wow, there's Chikoria's on there. And Joe Ferre, oh wow, yeah, that's gonna be freaking amazing. Let's go for it. Um, I'm down. <laughs> Because it's, I mean, it's fusion, but it's more, it's like, I don't know, it's like funky, you know. And uh, I don't know if it's Jeff Lorber playing, you know, the synthesizer here, or if it's Chick Corea. It sounds more like the Chick Corea, like, he does that, you know, those crazy bends. And then Show Pharrell, he is listed as a special guest, but it's like it says side one, one, two, three, and then side two, one, two, three, four. And then it's listed here as like the solos on one and five. So is uh, track number two on side two, uh, number five. So if that, if yes, then it's Chick Corea and Joe Farrell. Uh, I don't know if he's on here, but since we're listening to Pro Teos, it's track number two on side two, but it doesn't really say is this. Um, but it doesn't matter. You know, everyone on here is just ridiculously good um lester mcfarland on bass dennis bradford on drums terry lane on the sax um and then jeff lorber on you know any everything piano and then uh 
the synth and you know all the all those good stuff so yeah this is just an insane band i love the you know the funky side here you know always when there is you know some kind of sax involved or alto or tenor it doesn't matter you know it has that funk vibe that reminds me of you know tower of power and stuff like that you know or i mean they they it also said here that they played on um the uh chikoria the band uh, i what is it what was it called i just had it right here um mm. just had it in front of me <clears throat> his famous like band like Chikoria band uh, electric I think it calls it electric band or something doesn't matter I mean you you guys can correct me in the comment section but yeah let's let's continue with this this is so good I can't wait for more let's go <laughs> have been such a trip to see these people live you know like these people and I, and i guess some of them are still playing and then there's other people who honor their style you know uh we're really lucky here in denver there's like this five points jazz festival every year and then there's another festival um there's all there's so much jazz in this uh, city it's crazy like honestly we see some stuff that's really, like, good, you know, like, master class, like, these jazz musicians that come, um, this trumpet player, I don't remember his name right now, but he's, like, world famous, he's on this level, and, uh, when he starts to play, it's, like, I feel like I'm listening to, like, jazz fusion from the 70s, like, you know, really hardcore, like, crazy stuff, when he starts to improvise and, what a cool dude, you know. Um, I should check out the name um, to because I'm sure he's on Spotify or, or you know, you can buy his records. But, uh, yeah, we had the pleasure to see him in so good. twice already. Um, one, once during COVID and then the year after. Okay, so, yeah, definitely going to listen to more Jeff Lorber Fusion. I mean, they're not, like, full power on, you know. So Spyro... Gyra, I think it's Spyro Gyra, if I'm not mistaken. Inc Incognito is the song and the album as well. Um, here we go. And this is from 82. I once had, I, I did, I remember once buying th three LPs in Seattle when LPs were like, you know, 50 cents back in 2011. Um, Alexa and I, we would go, you know, on just to buy music and we would find these LPs and they were so cheap because it was, I think during 2011, nobody really knew what to do with them. Everybody was still on CDs or buying other kind of like on the MP3 hunt, you know? 
So LPs were just floating around and were worthless. So we, we bought like 30 like LPs for like, I don't know, like 10 bucks, you know, and like Alan Holtzworth, three, uh, Spyro Gyra. See, I found like the, the, the first Holtzworth record he ever released and a bunch of Aldi Miola and oh, so much stuff, Kansas. So, um, really cool. But, um, they got lost. I, we still have some, but they were in Alexa's mom's house for a while in the, um, garage. And then they kind of like got nipped on by rats and it was, it was a mess. But well, you know. Okay, here we go. I incognito. that they're still like touring like they're still on the road you know not right now but uh actually yes on february 21st they're gonna be in st petersburg i think that's florida let's see oh my god they're coming to boulder oh lord we're definitely gonna see them march 30th that's like an hour from here but yeah i'll go Boulder. We saw Aldi Miola. I'm sure it's going to be at the same venue where we saw Steve Vai, Aldi Miola. Um, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy I looked. Yeah, cool. I'm loving this. It's so good, you know, and it's there's so many musicians in this band. It's crazy. Um, um, and I mean, from the 70s, you know, so good. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs>
got I I don't know because it says here Okay, we're gonna get to that. Uh, that's the last uh, song that I want to play by Jean-Luc Ponty with Alan Holdsworth But it says it's Spyro Gyra and Jeff Lorber Fusion But I don't know if the one that we're gonna be watching on March 30th has um you know, also the Jeff Lover I don't I don't think so. That would have been so cool. But um right now when I was listening to the solo, I was like, wow, that sounds like Tetsu Sakurai, but Tetsu Sakurai, um, he's from an another band. And it sounds a little bit bit familiar, you know, um, but he's from he's the bass player from the band Cassiopeia. Uh I'm sure you guys know this band. This it's a Japanese fusion, rock fusion band or jazz fusion. I'm sorry, Cassiopeia and um, it's Tetsu Sakurai on bass, Akira Jimbo, if you know him, and um, and I know about Tetsu Sakurai and Cassiopeia because I'm a huge fan of Greg Howe, and Greg Howe and Dennis Chambers. They used to play together in this trio. And no, it's like a fort like a fortet. Uh, and um they play some wild jazz fusion. Um okay, so yeah, so let's um so I'm gonna do one more for Eric here. Um this is from the Individual Choice album. Um let's see. And this is in spite of all. From 1983, and this has Alan Holdsworth on the guitar. So let's see if he gives us a cool guitar solo. Let's see. All right, here we go. so cool like to hear a how like a alan holdsworth solo for the first time it always blows my mind just and 
now that I'm so like I've heard him for so long, you know, I just like it's like so I love everything he does. It's so good. You know, um the the whammy bar, the way he uses it is so like him, you know, like and the sound and the scales are always very unpredictable, but you know, it is all it is just like him, you know. Behind the guitar. Really cool. I love it. This is was a way better solo than on the on the other song that from Individual Choice. The other song, his solo was it didn't have that sound on the guitar. It was a little bit too distorted for my taste. And it was too loud. The music was too loud, so it kinda like overshadowed his solo here. This was a great take. I'm sure he, he was very happy with this take. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> still so bummed like w the day alan holdsworth passed away was like one of the saddest days i've ever like felt you know like almost like using like losing a parent that i swear to god was was the most depressing thing ever that i've never mourned like an artist like this never like actors musicians but when he passed away i was like couldn't believe it. So uh, I remember. So Gianluca Ponti is now eighty-one. So Alan Holdsworth would now be. He was born forty-six. Yeah, he would be um. Um seventy-five. 
wait a minute, no, 76. Oh, 77. Oh my god, it's all, already been so long. Shit. Man. Um, yeah, that was a huge loss to, to everyone. I think to every guitar player that listens to guitar players, you know, not just music, <laughs> you know, I think every, every, every guitar player's favorite guitar player was Alan Holdsworth. Even like the big ones, you know, like the really famous ones, Joe Satriani, Van Halen, Steve Vai, Ingrid Malmsteen. John McLaughlin, Aldi Miola, they all looked up to him. Yeah. So cool. Thank you so much, Eric, for this awesome uh, marathon. This was so good. Everything, like the first track, country and Eastern music, what a, what a riot, you know? What a cool project for two people to, to do, you know? And Billy is always amazing, and his musicians. Jeff Lorber Fusion, that was amazing. Uh, that I think that was almost like my favorite track just because it was so full of good stuff and Spyro Gyra, I think it's a little bit more commercial, you know, but it doesn't matter. I'm definitely going to watch them. Um, I think it's more, it's jazz fusion. I think a, a little bit more accessible for everyone. It's not so crazy. It's not, that doesn't mean that it's so, just because it's commercial. It's not good. No, no, no. And then this last John Luke Bonte, I'm going to listen to it definitely more tonight, you know, just to analyze that solo. Um, I was super lucky because I stumbled upon this guy on YouTube and he analyzes Alan Holdsworth's style like deeply, you know, he like figures out all the scales and all the chords and the way he, why he thinks the way he did, you know, really crazy stuff, really amazing. Like this guy should have like a like a music doctorate degree or something just for being able to analyze all this stuff but uh, and he basically like he was selling a book with all the with all the music the notation and tab and of course I bought it so and um, so I can figure out some more stuff and the way he used chords and stuff you know all right well thank you so much again Greybeard, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you had a lot of fun. Let me know what you think down below. And uh, if you want to listen to more Jazz Fusion, let us know, you know. Um, maybe do a marathon with Alexia, you know. She still feels kind of bad. She fell on her arm twice. And she's walking around literally like this, you know. Like this. And I'm like... And she's so scared of um, breaking... She has never broken anything in her body so that's like for her that's the ultimate like fear to break a bone and i've break, broken this wrist and this wrist i've broken my arm i broke my leg <laughs> you know so i used to be really wild i used to do a lot of crazy sports so and and i know it's, and i didn't really care at all when something would break i was just like I would do stuff with the broken bones, you know, still skateboard and I'd play guitar with my broken wrist. I would just use the left hand. <laughs> so, but yeah, for her, that's a big, big no, no. So I understand. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in the next one.